Part 47, we left off where Detective Baumhuber had said when he went through the house, he did look to notice if there was any glasswares or any kind of alcoholic beverages, and it looked like they consumed them very much inside their home. On Saratoga Trail, he said he did not find anything except, you know, just some unopened beer bottles that was in the basement in the refrigerator. So moving right along into part 48. This is going to be the case master report. The date initiated was August the 14th and there's not much to show on that one. Moving right on. Investigative supplement report. Report date October the 31st, 2018. And the description is received Thrive Products from Cindy Terraset. And it says it's Thrive Supplemental Products put into the evidence locker. November the 8th, 2018. They were actually mailed to them by Cindy. And they received them October the 23rd, 2018. The narrative begins... Synopsis. On Wednesday, October the 3rd, 2018, I, CBI field agent Greg Zenter, contacted Cindy Derisette via telephone to ask her questions about Thrive products. Derisette indicated she would be willing to send a sample of the Thrive products to CBI for potential analysis in a laboratory setting. Action taken. On Tuesday, October the 23rd, 2018, I received a sealed envelope, envelope in the mail from Cindy Derisette. See the attached photos. Derisette said there are many Thrive products, but she said the samples she sent for testing are the core products everyone starts with and uses daily. Derisette said the daily supplement routine is broken into three steps. The first are tablets taken first thing in the morning. The second step is a powder that is mixed into a fluid and drank about 20 minutes after taking the tablets. The third step is a patch that is worn on the body for 24 hours. Derisette described the products as premium grade, plant-based nutrients designed to fill nutritional gaps and deficiencies to get the body balanced and feeling like it should. Layman's terms, it's your multi on HD. It's the Ferrari of vitamins. The unopened package was placed into evidence at the Denver field office located in Lakewood, Colorado. Nothing further, Greg Center. Attachment is four photographs of unopened package from Cindy Derisset. And this will be the envelope and back. And the tracking number is it. It doesn't actually show the product, only the envelope or envelope the product came in. Okay, and this shows that this is a zip file of the phone interview of David Cologne. If you're interested in hearing his interview and if you haven't heard it yet, you will find it linked at the end of this video as well as right here. Okay, hey, moving on down, we have another supplement report. This one is dated November the 14th, Dave Baumover, and this is going to be subject, David Cologne. The purpose of this report is to document the submittal of the record phone call that I had with David Cologne into evidence, item number 188, nothing further, Detective Dave Baumover. Okay, Frederick Police Department. The recovered date of the pillowcase was August the 15th. Again, item number two, two pillowcases. Again, August the 15th. A top bed sheet with residue. 
August the 15th. Now that is, that is the date these were recovered from the Watts residence and taken into evidence. Okay, item number four, Apple Watch, green aluminum. Okay, that would probably be Chris's green, okay, because I'm thinking this is probably Shanann's Apple Watch, gold and pink. Yeah, this is Shanann's because it's a 38 millimeter and that is the one her mother actually bought her for Christmas. And this is also August the 15th. It was recovered. Okay, this is a computer, a MacBook Pro with the electric cord. It's blue, and it was recovered as well on August the 15th. Another computer, iPad, silver, also recovered August the 15th. Also recovered the Echo from the kitchen area, also recovered August the 15th. Also on August the 15th was the wireless dual bound gigabyte router, Netgear. Also recovered clothes, leggings, and cover. Clothes possibly last seen in, so that was her leggings that she was last seen in. They were black with a, like a pattern on them. A lot of people think they were the LuLaRoe that she used to sell, but no, these are the Maurice's. And also recovered August the 15th. August the 15th, the book, Hold Me Tight, hardback. That would be the book that Shanann did send Chris, and they did find it in their garbage can, and it had never been taken out of the shipping box. Again, this is the blue natural glove, 815. All bedding and pillows from Bella's room. Doesn't have a recover date there, but we can assume it's also 815. None of the others on this page has a recover date as well and seized all bedding and pillow from Celeste room, seized corner master bedroom comforter, all master bedroom bedding and pillows, master bedroom men's clothing from the corner, and we saw that on the body cam footage, all the stuff that was over in the corner, clothes on the master bed, all clothes in the hamper in the master bedroom, computer, baby monitor with two Dell laptop, which is Chris's work computer, black and red USB drive, so that was a flash drive, another USB drive, silver, this other one up here was black, so there's a couple of USB drives that they did get, and the recover date on these is actually 816. USB drive, Home Depot store, so that is the flash drive that the Home Depot returned to them, 816. And again, another USB from Home Depot, 816. Black plastic bag. Black plastic bag. So there's two black plastic bags, the garbage. And these were recovered on 815. Gray and white bed sheet, 815. Rake head, 815. Rake handle, 815. Suspected hair from the east oil tank. Partial rake handle. Clothes. White Minnie Mouse underwear from Celeste Watts at 817. Pink oil soap t-shirt from Celeste at autopsy 817. Face swaps from Celeste at the autopsy prior to cleaning 817. Face swaps from Celeste autopsy after cleaning and removing oil 817. Anterior neck swaps from Celeste at autopsy prior to cleaning, 817. Anterior neck swaps from Celeste at autopsy after cleaning and removing oil, 817. Oral swabs from Celeste, 817. Vaginal swabs from Celeste, 817. DNA cards, Celeste, 817. X-ray disc, Celeste, autopsy, 817. Control swabs, Celeste, 817. Skin from left and right hands with from Celeste, 817. Pink pajama top with heart and butterfly design from Bella, 817. Now these things were taken, of course, when their autopsies was performed. Oil soaked underwear from Bella, 817. And, and they're all going to be 817, so on the autopsies. Face swabs from Bella 
after cleaning and removing oil. Anterior neck swaps from Bella after cleaning and removing oil. Anterior neck swabs, Bella, prior to removing oil, and face swabs to removing the oil. Oral swabs from Bella, vaginal swabs from Bella, left palm swab from Bella, right palm swab from Bella, left hand fingernail clippings from Bella, right hand fingernail clippings from Bella, control swab, DNA card, an x-ray disc all from Bella. Okay, this is going to be Shanann's, and I'm just going to say up front it's all from A17, and it is all things they did and recovered at her autopsy. Blue thong top underwear, purple and white cotton t-shirt with a silver peace sign and heart design, black bra, white metal post nose ring with clear stone, brown paper bag, right hand, brown paper bag, left hand, the corners body bag sheet, fingernails of the right hand and left hand, palmer swab, right hand, palmer swab, left hand, face swabs, anterior neck swabs, control swabs, x-ray disc, DNA card, fingerprints, anterior neck swabs after cleaning, fetus from Shanann at autopsy. Cardboard liner from the bottom of the drying cabinet containing the corner sheet. Okay, that would be on the 20th. Dirt particles from the corner's body sheet. Cardboard liner from the drying cabinet containing the victim's clothing. Spade or a round top shovel from the work pickup. Handle sickle from the work truck. Red gas can from the work truck. Doesn't have a recover date. Work boots from the work truck. DNA swabs from the steering wheel of the work truck. Driver's side seat cover from the work truck. Passenger side seat cover of the work truck. Roll of plastic trash bags from the passenger side truck floor. Black cigarette lighter from the truck. Trace lift of the center console. Trace lift of the back seat of the driver's side in the truck and the passenger side of the back seat. Work boots from the car, a shirt from the car, miscellaneous paperwork from the car, Chris's work cell phone, Chris's personal cell phone, Shanann's cell phone, Chris's wallet with the contents, recordings, audio visual, flash drive with video footage from 6432 Saratoga, so that's one of the neighbors. Again, video footage flash drive from McDonald's. And this uh, Apple iPhone 6 from Nicole Kessinger, black. This was recovered September the 4th, 2018. Also September the 4th, 2018, top notes from Nicole Kessinger, seven pages. And CD 1 and 2, recover date, September the 13th, one month after the murders. CDs of the Firestone drone video of the well site. CD 1, CD 2. CD 3 is Officer Coonrod's body-worn camera in the offensive. CD 4, Officer James' body-worn camera. CD 5, Officer James' photos. CD 7, Officer Dahl's body-worn camera of the security footage. CD 8, Officer Walgie's photos from the consensual house search. CD 9, Officer Goodman's impound of the Lexus. CD 10, Officer James' photos of Chris Watts. CD 11, Officer Davis's flyer distribution. CD 12, Officer Manley's neighborhood canvas. 13, Officer Conrad's recovery of Shannon Watts. 14, is of Conrad's recovery, Conrad's recovery of Bella. 15, Conrad's recovery of Celeste. 16, Officer Lyons' house security. Doesn't show anything about 17, so I guess that's a secret. <laughs> I know, that's just a figure of speech. I don't know. Uh, CD 17 isn't shown here. It goes straight. Uh, 16 to 18. And 18 is Officer Lyons' neighborhood canvas. 19 is 
share CSO Scarlet Flyer distribution. 20. Officer Davis's contact with the defense team. 21. Officer Dahl's flyer distribution. 22. Sergeant Banks search warrant. 23. Sergeant Banks consensual house search. 24. Officer Walgie's report and search. Officer Walgie's warrant search photos. Okay, there's a USB drive with security footage from the Conoco South Register and a USB drive security footage from the Conoco North Register. These are on September the 5th. 9-11 radio traffic CD from the well dispatch. So that would have the 911 call that uh, Nicole Adkinson called in. If you haven't heard that, it will be right here as well as I will link it at the end. Okay, on September the 22nd, Shanann Rusek's makeup bag from Frank Rusek. So they came back from North Carolina and met them at Chris and Shanann's home and gave over the, make the purple makeup bag and it was brand unique. Also, CD 25 offense report and photos. That was September the 19th. CD 26, Longmont Drying Walker. CD 27, Chris Watts Consent and Dog Sniff. CD 28, System Test of the Interview Room. CD 29, Chris Watts' Disclosure. That was on September the 26th, the recovered eight. On CD 30, Chris Watts discusses the location of the bodies. CD 31, Chris Watts in the interview room alone. CD 32, Chris Watts' polygraph. Um, if you have seen his actual video of the polygraph, and I feel most everyone has, um, if not, I'll link it at the end. But if you haven't actually heard the transcript and read the transcript, um, it's very interesting, and it, it is quite a little bit different than the actual than what you see on the video because in the video I'm not sure if it's cut or if there's some kind of time delay or edited I'm not sure but there is some things and it could just be the mere fact that they're talking really low and you just maybe can't understand everything right well I actually took it was actually back last year and I got the transcript, the actual transcript of the polygraph, and I read it out. And it's very interesting because there is a few things different. Not, not a lot, but it's very interesting to say the least. I will also link that at the end, and I'm going to put it right here in the event that you want to look at it. Because as I say, it, it, it is a little bit, there's a little more to it, I guess you could say, than what you've seen in the video. Decano's body-worn camera, defense team in the house, that would be CD 33. CD 34, coder interviews, Chris. CD 35, photo from Officer James for consensual search of the Watts home. CD 36, body-worn camera of Officer James, follow-up calls. Okay, now we have all of these that they're mentioning here on the channel in the playlist section if you want to go to the playlist either hit videos you can just hit videos instead of playlist if you would just like to look at random certain videos and just scroll down through all the different videos or you can go to playlist and they're all there as well but they're actually kind of i've tried to kind of put them in the order you know like this playlist is for all the discoveries you can just hit play all and just play them all and then we have the playlist, of course, for the polygraph and different things like that. But if you had just rather find individual videos, just hit videos at the top here. Or hit where it says unjustified my name and you'll go to my channel page. And then you hit either videos or playlist or, you know, and that, that way a lot of people doesn't know that. So that's why I'm trying to take the time to explain it because some people just doesn't know that. Okay, CD 37's Officer Dahl's body worn contact with Nate. CD 38, Officer James detains. CD 39, Officer James transports Chris. CD 40, 
Officer Jane's courtesy ride of Ronnie Watts. CD 41, Officer Jane's messages and video from Walmart. CD 42, security footage from Husk. CD 43, Officer Jane's body-worn camera follow-up calls. CD 44, Manly body-worn search warrant. 45, Lines body-worn camera of the Home Depot. 46, Lines body-worn camera of Conoco. 47, Body-worn camera of James's follow-up call. 48, Ultrasound medical files. Okay, I know earlier I said all of this is on the channel. All of it's not. Everything that is actually included in the discovery, for the most part, is here on the channel if you want to look at it. Now, some of it's not because we did not get it. For example, the ultrasound medical files, we, we don't have access to those, so they're not going to be here, nor anywhere else. CD 49, interview prep, 50, interview of Nicole Atkinson by Baumover, and if you have not heard that, it is very interesting, and I will try to link it at the end. It depends on how much room I have. If not, you can listen to that right here. CD 51, footage of Chris's truck. 52, copy of McDonald's footage from the USB. 53, copy of the Home Depot store from the USB. 54, security footage from T. Young. So that must be a neighbor. Yes. 55, security footage from another neighbor. 56, copy of footage from the Home Depot store. 57, interview of Ronnie Watts with Hoyland and Kobach. I don't have that one here. I do plan to get it here. Like, within this week, I do like to do the subtitles with Ronnie's interviews. Some people find him very hard to understand what he's saying, and it's very quiet. So I like to do subtitles. I do have his first interview already on the channel, and it does have the subtitles added. CD58, interview with Ronnie and S.A. Hoyland, Sergeant Hoyland. And that is the one I do have here, so you can see that one here, and it does have the subtitles. CD59, copy of the 911 radio traffic. CD60, Officer Perez, body-worn camera of the neighborhood canvas. 61, body-worn camera, Officer Manley clearing the house. This is October the 2nd. CD6, Officer Perez, again, October the 2nd. 63, Officer Lines clearing the house. Okay, on October the 4th, we have buccal swabs from K okay, fingerprint card and hand impressions from Chris, October the foot impressions from Chris, screenshots from Nicole's Life 360, August the 22nd on that one, 4TB external hard drive containing information from phone dumps, October the 2nd, CD 66, footage from the Decano assistant of 921, recover date, October the 9th, uh, Okay, if y'all hear my little snoring at my feet, that would be my little Morky. He is sleeping very good at my feet, and I can hear him snoring very loudly. I hope it's not going to come through to you guys, but if you hear it, that's what it is. Okay, CD67, recorded video from the baby monitor. CD containing Kessinger's Phone extractions from the CBI. Okay, and the recovery date on these is October the 10th. CD containing PDF file download from the CBI. CD containing interview of Nicole Kessinger from CBI. And y'all know those are all on here. And a lot of them, the audio cut off. Well, really, all of them, the audio cut off. And what I did is after the audio cut off, I went ahead and I actually read the rest of the interview from the transcripts in each of the videos. Okay, a handwritten card from Chris to Nicole, a greetings card from Chris to Nicole, miscellaneous clothing belonging to Chris, and as we know, Nicole brought those with her to her interview with Kobach. 
Interview of Amanda McMahon by Baumhofer. Flash drive containing video clips of Nathan's surveillance system. Recorded call with David Cologne, October the 18th. And the non-PDF file list, Tacano Police Department ZIP, Watts House ZIP, Perez, Manley, Perez, Lines, Walgie, and the two Ronnie Watts videos. This report was generated November the 16th, 2018 at 2.27. Okay, this is an officer report for incident received by Dan Boyle, September the 12th, received by telephone, and it has September the 12th, a witness, October the 17th, 2018, evidence, Rule 16 pod video, evidence incident, Kelly Carmen, and the address is the North the Weld County North and employed by the Weld County. So this is going to be an incident report that was filed by Kelly Carmen, September the 12th, 2018. Rule 16 pod video related property CD DVD. And this is the supplement report. October the 19th, 2018, Dan Boyle. List miscellaneous documents included with this supplemental report. J logs. September the 21st to October the 15th, 2018. Narrative. Additional J-logs were received from Nicole Morrill from NJC regarding inmate Watts. The dates that were received from were from September the 21st to October the 15th, 2018. The entries are not daily and appear to be random observation reports. Watts continues to be respectful and polite to NJC staff and has not caused any issues. Copies of the J-Logs were placed into MI documents in the report DB. Okay, the starting time. Okay, these is going to be going into Chris's observation reports and his behavior while he was incarcerated from September the 21st through, I think it said October the 15th. Yes. Okay, we're going to stop right here. And when we come back with part 49, that is where we will start going and looking at these observation and behavior reports that has been written about Chris. Okay, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I would really appreciate a thumbs up if you feel so inclined. And have a great day, night, evening, wherever you may be. And until next time, this is Unjustified.